just as I was making that last video about um, coming into Nambucca Heads, I um, had a phone call from Josh, the um, policeman from the Family Violence Unit in Brisbane, because I'd sent him a text um, to tell him that I needed to speak to him so I could fill him in on the latest developments of what was happening with um, Tasmania Police threatening to arrest me if I don't go to Burwood Police Station by um, this Friday. And um, yeah, I'm so glad that I got to speak to him again because he was very reassuring, just said to me again that I'm actually um, complying with everything they've asked of me. I'm actually complying more than any reasonable person would. He, he actually said he can't believe that I went out of my way to go to Southport, um, which was a six hour return um, trip when you factor in the um, uh, also the almost two hours of just having the new device fitted and then them troubleshooting it, trying to get it working. Um, yeah, so he said that I'm um, complying more than any reasonable person would and that um, this is actually um, infringing on my human rights. And um, he also went on to say that uh, he suspects that um, the family violence unit in Hobart are making empty threats um, about getting New South Wales police to arrest me if I don't go to the Burwood police station by this Friday because he said um, there's not any grounds he can see. Um, if I'm making my way to Burwood police station as I am and um, there's flooding in the area and it's going to delay my journey, um, he's, yeah, saying that that's something obviously not in my control and that as long as I'm making every attempt to comply, which I am, which I have been doing, um, yeah, that he said even if the worst happened and there is a warrant sent to New South Wales Police to arrest me, he thinks that any reasonable police officer would see that and, um, See, see it for what it is because he yeah he saw it straight away as soon as he got the request to arrest me when I was in Queensland um, he said he straight away read between the lines and identified me as being the victim and the victim of um, serious abuse of power as well systems abuse um, yeah you name it so yeah I feel a little bit better now so I'll just keep making my way there as I am and I'll Keep you updated.